You're looking at the main event, folks. Mojo Horn out in the ring here right now, and his opponent, Roger Bolin. Roger Bolin fighting out of Team G-Force. And this is what a lot of people in Cincinnati came to see, Dan. These yep. two square off in the octagon. Got the 185-pound weight class there, and uh, Roger, uh, you know, brings to the table his uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, boxing, and Muay Thai. Has first, been training in MMA for the last two years. First time we see Mojo Horn at the 185-pound weight class. Normally fights as a light heavyweight, holds a local title as a light heavyweight champion, dropping down to 185 pounds. It should be interesting what we see, how much of his strength he kept as he made the weight drop. No, we have, uh, you know, both basically they almost have the same type of uh, background there between the jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, and boxing. Introducing here. first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet, one inches tall, and weighed in at 183 pounds. From Cincinnati, Ohio, representing George Gugel MMA <laughs> Academy, William Mojo! guys are mutual warriors in the ring like to see and mutual his respect. opponent fighting out of the red corner representing team g from amelia ohio he stands five feet nine inches tall weighing in at 182 pounds roger Bowling. Well, i think uh a few more people this turned out there for roger event, there than the uh, maybe a mojo night. here this evening and this is true. You see Mojo in, in his corner, he has some great experience. You see George Gugel, who's a UFC fighter. Rob Radford, who's the coach, boxing coach for George Gugel and Rich Franklin in his corner. See if this helps Mojo Horn. Or if Roger Boyne will be able to capitalize on. We got all the strength. people, go, all the people standing on their feet already. They're, they're waiting to see this, this clash. They're already training. They're already trading punches. Roger's got uh, Mojo clinch up against that for the cage wall. Roger going for what we thought a lot of people would think is Roger's going for the takedown. Mojo doing a good job to fin, get some knees in there. Roger's dropping down, getting the back of the knees. Going for the takedown, and there oh, it goes. There we go, nice. the side mount. Double leg slam and right into that side mount. Nice. Now Directly into the in the mount. Mojo Horn's very experienced on his back, but we'll be able to see if he can counter the strength of Roger Bowling. Roger Bowling's a very strong fighter. We've seen Mojo Horn fight out of this many a times. Mojo going for the leg. Mojo fighting back. Roger definitely is good at top control here. He's got the wrestling background. Mojo definitely has experience on the side, going into many rounds late into the fight. Now he's going for the reversal. There we go. He's coming right back. That way to fight he's got off the this leg. Side. And there he goes. He's sucking the leg in, Dan, trying to take him to his back. Relentlessly, they will not let go of delay. Roger Boeing, going for back control, trying to yeah, spin Roger over and get his trying to swing that around. Yeah, he's trying to swing that leg around there to see him get right back in that. Uh... Looking for an arm. He's trying to get an arm bar here. He's trying to get control of, the, of Mojo's left arm. Mojo using the fence good. Keeping control of that leg. Won't let it go. Roger's definitely taking a big toll here on Mojo here just by keeping the head down. Now he's got the standing guillotine position. Standing guillotine. And he's got the, the leg ramp. This could be bad for Mojo Horn. See if Mojo, he gets his head out. Yep. 
Mojo's in a position here where he could use the fence and really pound. Roger Bourne showing his strength. Roger's a very strong competitor. Definitely showing his strength here. Mojo's in a position for a gator roll, and here he's trying to roll it. He's trying to roll it. Taking possession of an arm. He's going over. Roger is a very, very strong base, though. Very strong base, which is typical, Dan, in a lot of wrestlers. Still working at reaching through, trying to get the other bicep. Taking a great deal of energy toll on um, actually both of these athletes here. I mean, it's uh... and you see him reaching again through. If he can reach through and grab that opposite bicep, you can put a lot of torque mm -hmm. on that. A lot of torque on that. He's trying really hard to take that over, and he gets him over. But Roger does a great job rolling out, getting his hips out, Dan. Yeah, basing, basing right back out again. Right? Basing right back out, neutralizing the move. And Mojo's relentless with this. And that's a lot of wear and tear on Roger Bowling. Oh, it neck. is. I mean, it's uh, again, you, people just can't appreciate them. I mean, what, what, uh, the, what, what that neck's going to feel like by tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Tomorrow morning wakes up. For the next three days. A lot of strength in nice there. Strength, nice strength move by Roger Bowling. But then he put us up. Now, this is classic. You see here, Mojo with a jiu-jitsu background. He's in a side guard or in a half guard. This is what you want to do in a half guard. Get out to your side. Get your hips out and work. Seeing getting his head down by the knee. Take your head out of a striking position. But unfortunately, he's given side mail to Roger Bowen, who's proved to be a strong fighter. And a nice oh, reversal by going. Mojo Horn. Now he's in side mail. Let's see what he could do with it, Dan. It'll be kind of tough here right now. He's he got know. the knee on the belly. Knee on the belly, and he's right now. Oh, now he's got, oh, back. got back. Can a jiu-jitsu practitioner finish it here? You see his hips flatten out, folks. It could be a bad sign for Roger Bowling. It's over. Oh, there it is. Mojo Horn brings Excellent. one home from Team Gord Giselle. Excellent match. Excellent match. Two great gladiators out there. This was definitely a, a main event match. Folks, you cannot ask for a better main event. You saw two strong competitors go at it toe-to-toe -to -toe in the octagon these tonight. Fighters, Covington. Give them both a hand. Two very strong competitors faced off tonight for our main event. The winner of this fight by submission at four minutes and eight seconds of the first round, William Mojo Horn. You know, we just saw very good technique from two fighters oh, there. Oh, excellent. I mean, you can just see where the, uh, you know, I mean, they were, they were definitely uh, worthy of being in the, uh, the the main event here. I mean, uh, the, the, what they showed on their feet, the flinching, the takedowns, but then reversing each other, getting into right. the mount position, crossbody positions. We saw a lot of, a lot of action. Well, it's no secret in that, in that situation, Dan. We saw Roger Bowling was a much stronger uh, competitor, but and Mojo Horn did a good job of neutralizing his strength at certain times. Roger did a good job of utilizing his strength at certain times. And it was just a great overall matchup.